each of us has our own journey in order to get where we need to go. And for me, that's what Land of Dreams feels like. Like, this is the project that I've been walking towards all these 20 plus some years that I've been uh, in the entertainment biz. This particular film, if I am honored to receive the Ulite um, Cinematic Residency, it feels like that. It feels like everything I have ever learned, everything I have ever worked in the past 25 plus years has been leading me to this particular project. I started as a journalist many, many moons ago before moving on to production and screenwriting. And my background is actually theater. And every part of that is going to be used in this project. My journalism experience taught me how to research, which will be necessary to make sure that we present the story of the Peter Pan children the way it's supposed to be. My theater experience taught me about framing in a different way. It taught me about doing, you know, live full length plays with minimal budgets, depending on an entirely volunteer crew. My production experience in TV gives me a good insight into what TV was back in the 1940s and 1950s and how the stage was also sort of an extension of that, how TV was an extension of the stage. And a lot of these very grandiose settings and musicals were all set on the stage and, and, and they, they, it was just sort of a continuation. And so even this particular film, the short, Your Kill, and it was a passion project by one of the actors, G-Rod. He wrote it. It's more than just a little action short. It symbolizes sort of the end of a marriage, the way both, both people want to kill each other, almost literally, at the end of that marriage. It was very serendipitous. I had all the experience in the world. I had all the vision and all the budget worked out, but I didn't have a short that I had produced. And suddenly, Wombo Fee calls me up and asks me if I wanted to be the producer on Your Kill. And of course I jumped on it, not just because, again, it was very serendipitous for the time that I needed to apply, but because Juan Bofil, who's the director of this short, Angel Barroeta, who's the director of photography, and Peter Ebanks, who's the first AD, were actually, that same team actually created previously a short called Victoria that won last year as the best action film in Cannes, right? They won, it won New York, it won in Paris. I feel very honored to be included in this award-winning team. And even more so, I feel honored that this is the team that is standing by to get ready to go to work on Land of Dreams. Because that's what cinema is. This is not a solo experience. This is an ensemble work. And the quality of the film will depend on the passion of the people who work on it. It's like this video, it's moving magic. But the magic is not just in the special effects and the lights. The magic is in the people behind the camera. And we're ready to go. You just give me the word and I'll pull my people together and start pre-production on Land of Dreams. Thank you for taking a peek at this crazy little video. But isn't this what it's all about? A little bit of movie magic.